I am Anil Kumar sharing with you technique of solving word problems relating rational functions. Now these are very popular questions which you will find in the test papers and this question is from page 287 question 11 Nelson advanced functions. Question is Tyler purchased a large box of comic books for $300. She gave 15 of the comic books to her brother and then sold the rest for dollar three hundred and thirty making a profit of dollar one fifty on each one how many comic books were in the box so that is the question right so since we need to find how many comic books were there in the box let's start with the let statement so let the comic books be let the number of comic books be equal to let us say x. So that's our variable. Now as you know the technique here is to find the rate, right? Tyler purchased a large box of comic book for 300. So what is the cost of purchasing each book, right? So cost of purchase will be number of books is x. We have to divide that by the total amount paid. So for one book it should be 300 divided by x. So that is the cost of purchase. She gave 15 books to her brother and then sold the rest for $330. So selling price or you can say selling rate, right? Selling price or selling rate, whatever. Now we prefer to use the word rate here because in rational functions we are just comparing the rates, okay? So just for kind of uniformity and ease of solving problems. Now since 15 were given so x minus 15 are sold. So that is the cost that the selling price for each comic book. Now the question is making a profit of 150 on each one. So the difference in these prices or the rates is $1.50. That is how we get our equation. Right, so selling price is always higher, dividing by a lower number is higher. Remember that I've seen students writing this equation in the reverse order. So selling price is higher since you're dividing by a lower number, right? And that is also higher, okay? So x minus 15 minus 300 over x is equal to 150. So that is the difference in selling price and the cost price. And therefore, this is your profit, correct? So profit is difference between selling and cost price. So that gives you your equation. Now you need to solve it, taking common denominators, simplifying by cross multiplying. So let's do that. First step, common denominator, x times x minus 15, 330 gets multiplied by x, and 300 gets multiplied by x minus 15, on the other hand, 1.50 gets multiplied by both of them, x times x minus 15, right? So that gives us, well, I just hurried it up. So, okay, let me cancel it from here. Or we'll do it in the next step. Don't worry. So in this step, we are only taking common denominator on the left side and then keeping it like this. We'll multiply in the next step, right? So let's do it now. So 330 x minus 300x when you multiply you minus minus becomes positive 3 times 15 is 45 100 will be equals to 1.50 times x times x minus 15 so so we get a quadratic equation which will solve x times x will give us the quadratic equation good so now let's take it to the right side and then solve. So we have 330 minus 300, which is 30x. So we'll write 30x plus 4500 equals to x times x is x squared. So it is 1.5x squared. And x times minus 15 is minus 15 and we have to multiply that 1.5 so let me do 1.5 times 15 that is 
in decimals 22.5. So that gives us minus 22.5x. So that's the quadratic equation. Let's bring all the terms together. So we have 1.5x squared minus 22.5x. We'll bring these to the right. Minus 30x minus 4500 equals to 0 which let's combine these terms 1.5 x square and that is minus uh, 52.5 x minus 4500 equals to 0. Now let's apply the quadratic formula by now you are an expert in that minus of this is 52.5 square root square of this which is minus 52.5 whole square minus 4 times 1.5 times 4500 with a negative sign okay let me add this negative sign here okay square root divided by 2 times 1.5 okay so there is a negative sign here okay so this negative negative will become positive now we can use calculator I forgot to write plus and minus in between plus and minus correct so now we can use the calculator and find the answer right so within the square root we have we have uh, 52.5 square minus and minus becomes plus so we'll do plus 4 times 1.5 times 4500 which is equals to uh, some fraction let's convert so we get around 172.5 so we get here 52.5 plus or minus 172.5 divided by 1.5 times 2 is 3 right so we get negative answer should not be considered so we'll consider the positive answer so we'll add them divide by 2 so let's add 52.5 to 172.5 divide by 3 gives us 75 so we get one possible answer which is 75 for us correct so what we now know is the number of books is 75 right so therefore the number of comic books originally purchased is 75 is it okay so that is the number of comic books now read the question once again it says how many comic books were in the box correct so these are the number of books in the box now the question could be what was the cost of each book so let me add that question here also find cost of each book also find cost of each book how will you do that now cost of each book will be so I'm adding part B to it and that be cost of each book not selling price will be 300 divided by x 300 divided by 75 that is the value of x correct which is 4 so cost of each book is dollar 4 is it okay now the question could also be what was the selling price of each book so what was the selling price of each book you could find that also by dividing 330 by x is 75 minus 15 okay which is 60 so let's do that and of course that should be much more right 330 divided by 60 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 .5, right so 5.50 writing in dollars you can see clearly the difference is one dollar fifty cents is that okay difference is one dollar fifty cents right so that shows our calculations are correct but that is kind of interesting whenever you have a question you can actually analyze it and uh, check your answer whether it makes meaning or not i hope that helps thank you and all the best